This is the biggest radio telescope in the world. From side to side, it's 500 meters. That's half a kilometer. It is simply colossal. Now it took more than 10 years to find a site suitable for this because they were looking for a natural crater in the ground that could play host to this thing. Building it though has been pretty rapid. It's taken just five and a half years. Now in here, there are four and a half thousand of these little triangular panels and each one of these can actually move around so that you can angle the telescope to see different spots in the sky. We've come underneath the telescope and as you can see it's an incredibly complex structure. Everything up here is made from aluminium which keeps it very very light and that's important when you've got something this big. The surface too is perforated with tiny holes which means the light comes through helping the vegetation to grow and this adds some extra support for the ground. We've now popped up through one of the measurement towers and this is where they keep a check on the exact curve of this dish. So the big question is, I guess, is why do you need something this huge? Well, the bigger the dish, the more signals can be collected from space. Bigger really is better when it comes to astronomy. And the deeper you can actually see into the universe, this will be two and a half times more sensitive than the next biggest radio telescope. It's gonna look for all sorts of objects like pulsars, which are quickly rotating, neutron stars. It will be looking for signs of exoplanets, new galaxies, and also even signs of extraterrestrial life. There's a little bit more construction to go here, a few more triangles that need to be filled in, but they're almost ready. And it's due to be completed in September this year.